It's God's will that all things be brought into harmony with Christ. Our purpose, therefore, in life is to bring everything on earth into line with the will of Christ. We have a mission. In a nutshell, our mission is to bring all things in line with the will of Christ. Every person, our deeds, our actions, everything. And it will eventually happen. We're going on to the millennium reign of Christ, and then we'll end up in heaven. The point is, and then we'll all come back to earth, and heaven and earth will join together. But there's coming a time, family, when everybody that's left on earth and in heaven combined will all be under the Lordship of Christ. Everything will be in the will of Christ. That's why God has given us these weapons, like the name of Jesus. Therefore, eventually, every person on earth and heaven, every action of all people, every thought of man will be brought under the control of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every thought of man will be a Christ-centered thought, a Christ-generated thought. Every thought. I guess you want further scripture for that. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Notice this, it's our warfare. Say this, it's my warfare, not God's. Say this, God has done all he's ever going to do about the devil. He is defeated and I'm in charge. I'm ready for the devil. He is no match for me. Wherever I meet him, whatever the test, I will win. Praise God. Now, 2 Corinthians 10, 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So this, my weapons are not natural, but mighty in God. So this, I have God's mighty weapons for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, everything that opposes the Word of God, my weapons I have, bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. So there's this coming a day when every thought of man will be only what Christ wants us to think. Every thought. And I have been given weapons to ensure that this happens. God's ultimate purpose in creation. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your eagerness. Now. I'll take it from here. God's ultimate purpose in creation is to have a family in perfect harmony under the Lordship of Christ. In heaven, all will be under the Lordship of Christ. You know, I've heard folks say when they get offended by someone, Oh, I forgive that person. I just don't want to see them again. I've forgiven him, but I don't want to talk to them again. Have you ever heard that? Okay. Well, let me tell you something. What are you going to do when the rapture happens? Let's say you and that person go to heaven together. You're going to see them across over there in heaven. You're going to say, I'm going that way. I'm going this way. Well, I can tell you right now, if that's what's in our heart, they're not going. People like that are not going to heaven. Not going to heaven. There's going to be no strife, division, unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment in heaven at all. No. People like that with those things in their heart are staying here. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present, and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.